So we have the Eight of Wands. That Eight of Wands, I feel like, came out for, like, your first part maybe last week. I swear. Death. Came out for maybe for something. I don't know if it was 20. It was a reading a few days ago. I don't know. Devil. Capricorn energy. Somebody is, like, obsessing over you. Six of Pentacles. Out of nowhere. Kind of just hit them or something. Ripped apart. Yeah. Vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth. Talk about eight of wands. Yeah. Nine of swords. Telling you. Nine of swords. Mm, somebody is losing sleep over you. They're in regret. They're in sorrow. They're in remorse. Or there's about to be a sudden change that puts somebody in this energy. Talk about the devil. Judgment. Scorpio energy. Somebody is, um, somebody, like, could maybe be getting some type of, like, um, consequences of their, of indulging in some type of destructive habit or, uh, something like that, something toxic. Think about the Six of Pentacles, the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy. <sighs> They're taking, they know that they, somebody knows that they have to give you something balanced or they're obsessed with like getting another chance with you. Mm -hmm. Why though? Because it sees they, they've had some type of, some type of truth was exposed or they are in this very vulnerable state or they will be. Why? Maybe. Okay. So mirroring. So maybe you're in this energy where you're having like being more vulnerable too, or, or you, you're starting to go within. Okay. Cause it says a mirage calling for you to go within. Maybe you guys have gone into hermit mode. Something is happening here. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. It's like somebody's coming in towards you with some type of proposal or like coming in. But I feel like you're either going to, but they're coming in very egotistical. And um, they're still like in this energy of resisting the connection. Very, yeah, and I feel like they're coming in to, like, see what's up about you, like, what's going on with you. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to maybe, like, give them very little reaction, or you're not going to tell them how you really feel, like, because you're like, oh. You're vulnerable. You, you don't feel comfortable being vulnerable with this person anymore. Because they left you out in the cold. They may have, like, kept you in, like, um, they were maybe trying to hold on to you and something else. Or they wouldn't make a decision between you and something else. So I feel like you guys are, yeah, you're focusing on you. Yeah, I feel like they want, yeah, you're focusing on being single and independent. I don't know. Let's see. Tell me why, why is the Nine of Swords here, Spirit? Nightmare situation, sorrow, regret, remorse. Oh, if this is, um, there's about to, if you guys have, if, if somebody has been in a, a cycle of feeling this way, sadness and anxiety, stress over a situation, Spirit says that's going to change quite suddenly, actually. It says the world here, the world is about a completion of a cycle and then like a new one starting. What does this mean for my twins? The five of, yeah, so yeah, you guys were sad over this person. Mm -hmm. You guys were grieving a breakup with a person or in loss or regret or sadness over somebody. Maybe, but it maybe what's the energy that they're in currently though with this sudden change? See, yeah, eight of swords. But what's causing it? But if there's going to be a sudden change, seven of pentacles. Okay. Forbidden. Okay. What's this have to do with my collective though? Again, this doesn't have to be you guys. I feel like it's not. I mean, they're in your energy and they are the half, other half of your soul. I feel like there's somebody who's stressed out over you, who would make up their mind about you. And it was because you were so different than what they were used to or different from them. There, they could have also been some people around them that didn't want to see the two of you together. But it's like they were waiting for something Like they were just like kind of put like they, they were afraid to put too much. They're afraid of like a long-term commitment or they're afraid of investing too much into this. What is the cycle that's coming to an end? This could be, it could be you too. What's the cycle that's coming to an end? 
Yeah, it's the cycle is ending on the, the masculine's end. It's on the, the divine masculine's end. They're working on something here. Wanting to come in and surprise you with something or apologize to you, reach out to you. Yeah, it's the masculine. They're going through a cycle that's closing out here. And what does it have to do with their connection with my collective? Yeah, because they want to have something that they want to invest in you. Ten of Pentacles, long lasting union, marriage, solid foundation. But they've been very conflicted about this, guys, like indecisive. But whatever situation they're in, the other one, not you, is dark. It's it's toxic. It says remain in the darkness or embrace the light. All right. So yeah. Hmm. So yeah, they they they've been in, in in some type of toxic environment, obsession. I don't think it's obsession. It's like destructive habit or a destructive relationship, um, destructive family dynamic. I don't know. Let me clarify what the devil is, spirit. We have seven of wands. Whatever it was was maybe they needed to set boundaries in a situation. Mm -hmm. They needed to have better boundaries or they needed to kind of protect their energy from maybe other people that, yeah, look at this three of cups, right? As I'm saying that it could be friends. It could be, it's somebody that they are, they needed to defend themselves to or set boundaries with. Tell me about the three of cups, the chariot. It looks like they're doing this because they're not, why is the four of cups here? It's time. They're not, they're no longer comfortable in that situation. Like, I feel like for a while they were comfortable in that toxicity, but Spirit is saying that it's like they're not happy there anymore. They could have somebody that's still wanting to have a toxic relationship with them, but it's like they're no longer like they would maybe usually take this person up on this offer or deal with them or let them back in or engage in it with them or whatever. But I feel like they're setting a boundary with this person. Like, they don't want this anymore. Like, for a while they didn't indulge in this like toxic destructive whatever was going on between the two of them but i feel like the divine intervened in some way yeah the nine of cups what does this mean it's time and the nine of cups mean for this person see what about seven of swords cannot be trusted yeah they were keeping something or what's this mean for my collective page of swords yeah you guys um what about the page of swords the six of cups you guys maybe wanted to know if mm, somebody's watching you I'm getting a couple of different messages here. Some of you guys could have been curious to know. Somebody's like, watch. What's the, okay. What's the, it's time and divine. What's that? No more running money focus. Okay. What's that do with my collective? It's time and money focus. Justice. In what way? Ghosting. So somebody ghosted you possibly for another person that they have a toxic connection with. But you're going to be getting your justice for that. Or you're going to be getting clarity about why it happened the way that it did. Whoever this other person was that they chose over you or whatever, they see you. It's weird because they do see you as wish fulfillment. But this other person, there's something to do with money with this other person. And that's been coming through a lot in the collective readings. Money over love, money affecting your love life. So they ghosted you because they had something going on with, in regards to money. But they have a toxic dynamic with whatever that situation is. Okay. Um, why can't, why is seven of swords and can't be, cannot be trusted here? See, yeah, like somebody was not, they maybe weren't telling you this, but whatever this other situation is that they're dealing with or holding on to is very toxic. And I feel like you guys maybe didn't even know that they were holding on to this other situation. I feel like I do feel like this person, or you know what? This is this person like holding back from you too. They're watching you. They're holding back from you. There's a lot of things here, guys. They definitely keep tabs on you, but they haven't been being honest with you about something from the past. I feel like they're watching you too because they want to reunite with you, but they're still conflicted. They haven't made up their mind about you totally. So I feel like they're still, they're still holding on to something that's not good. What is cannot be trusted? Eight of Swords. Because what's the T? What is cannot be trusted? Eight of Swords. What's the T mean for my collective? The Ace of Pentacles. The Fool. See, yeah, this person wants to maybe sleep with you. I don't 
don't know, guys. I feel like this person doesn't know if they can, they don't know if they can trust you yet. I'm going to be honest with you. It's like this person's like watching you and trying to gather more information about you or they, they want to get to know you more or something like that before they make the decision to completely release this other situation. Because even though that other situation is toxic, it's like there, there's something that like maybe they have financial stability there. I don't know. Tell me about judgment. Ace of Cups. They want a new beginning with you. I'm telling you, but. See, uh, uncertainty, illusions, complicated. Ace of Cups and judgment, wishing. Yeah, they, they. It's like they want to be with you, but they're suffering in silence. They, they're feeling overwhelming emotion for you, reminiscing about you. That that Six of Cups could have been that too. Them reminiscing about you, them being feeling nostalgic when it comes to you, but them not saying anything because they're still holding on to something toxic. Or this is them obsessing over you. It's like they want to give you something balanced, but what's mirroring? How in what aspect are they mirroring each other's spirit? Three of Pentacles. It's like what about three of Pentacles? Page of Cups. You guys both have a desire to want to work on this and make amends here to talk, but what's the problem? Two of Wands. It's like you guys are waiting, or it's like somebody needs to choose a path. Or it's like, why two of wands? The nine of wands. Resilience, defensive. You guys are both very guarded. <laughs> you guys are both very guarded. It's like, it's so weird. It's like, you guys want to work on this. You guys want to be together. But it's like, you guys can't let your guards down. That already came out. Okay. Anything else? Two of Pentacles. What about Two of Pentacles? The Knight of Swords. Okay, it's, it looks like somebody's weighing their options about whether or not they want to try to talk, come in and talk to you. But it looks like they're going to kind of come in out of the blue and want to talk to you and want to try to put into some, put in some type of work or effort here. Where's that going to go? Three of Swords. I don't think, but see, they're still trying to put you in some type of third party situation, guys. And, and they're still like emotionally like not wanting to. They're not wanting to be vulnerable with you. But there could be some type of, how is um, my collective going to feel about this? Hanged man. You're going to be looking at things differently. Here, fine. What about it? Karmic partner. You're seeing this person differently. What's that do with this person? Five of cups. The six of cups. Yeah, it's something to do with like, you, you see something differently. They got to get rid of this karmic, guys. There's somebody that. They need, and they need to go into hermit mode. They need to heal. Waiting. They kept you waiting and kind of like in limbo. You guys are understanding now why they kept you waiting or something like that. What about this karmic partner? This is not the right way. Hold on. What about this karmic partner? They have like their codependent cannot be trusted. Ooh. Either the, mm, okay, so they're realizing that they can't trust this person. Yeah, they found out something. What's this have to do with my collective? Yeah, sexual encounter. They see they want to sleep with children. Ooh. Two of cups. See, I feel like this person is very emotionally immature. I'm going to be honest with you. Or it's like, so what are they going to do about this current partner that they found out this information? What about six of wands? Money focus. See, it's something, okay, what about that though with the current partner? Magician, how did that work out for them? The Empress, what about the Empress? Guys, it's like they're trying to manifest some type of money or something with this karmic. It's like codependent. They're dependent on this person to help them bring in some type of money. Like something to do with money with that karmic partner. But it's like, with they feel like you're the Empress. They keep trying to sleep with you. What is good? This is just, I don't even know, y'all. I don't, I see them rushing in towards you. Okay. But they're, I don't think it's going to lead to anything. They're still trying to, they still have a third party that they're holding on to for financial reasons or something like that. Money focus keeps coming out. Whoever that third party is, is somebody that they're either getting money from or they like pay bills with. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. So just keep that in mind.
I'm kind of getting this energy that you guys already to some degree know about this or you guys something could have been revealed or they may be coming in to reveal this to you but let's see here hold on I'm not gonna use mm, I don't know I'm gonna use this deck tell me more about what's going on here Yeah, this heavy energy here of indec indecision, lack of consistency, on and off relationship. So you guys can feel like you've been on and off with this person. What about it? It's a celebration, but we have victory here. Social events, parties, renewed enthusiasm. Why? Why is it a celebration coming here? Genuine love, kind, loving, and generous can be trusted with your heart. So someone's getting out of an indecisive energy. What's this mean for my collective? Mm, but see, now we have heart of betrayal, love triangle, betrayal of trust. What about it? They definitely put you in a third party situation. Sleepless night. Somebody's losing sleep over this. All consuming worries, breaking point, lack of sleep. Is it my collective that's in that energy? Mm, you guys are in this energy of like consuming passion. This is them for you. They, they feel like, why are they not just choosing you? Why are they not just choosing you? This doesn't make sense. Because they need to heal. Yeah, it's just not the I feel like it's not the right time. They need to heal from something here. And they need to be ready to open their heart to you. And they know that they're not. They may play more. Why are they not choosing the collector if they feel this way about them? It does not make sense. Trick or treat. Yeah, not serious. Unsure of their intentions. Yeah, I told you this person doesn't know if they can. They're tricking you. They kind of feel like you're a trick. Not like a trick. Like, <laughs> They kind of feel like you're um, not who you, who like they see who you are, but they think it's a trick. Like they, they don't trust their feelings that they have for you. They don't tr trust this person that you've been to them. I don't think this person has met too many people like you. Genuine love, kind, loving, and generous. Yeah, can be trusted with their heart. They've never, they have not met too many people like this. They're wounded from like past relationships or something like that. So it's like they're not sure about you, but this part, they definitely have been like indecisive about you. And they definitely put you in a freaking, they betrayed you in some way. They put you in a love triangle. They were cheated on you. They did something, but they're, they're losing sleep over it. Like, they're losing sleep over the fact that they did that to you, reaching their breaking point, all consuming worries. Yeah, they're like, and they feel very like drawn to you. In fact, I told you they're obsessed with you. Lustful desire, sexual chemistry. Why are they? Tell me more about why they're in this energy of losing sleep. See what? See, it's somebody else around them, possibly. What about outside influences? Two hearts. Yeah. Oh. Oh, are they worried? You know what they're losing sleep about? What does this have to do with my collective? Yep. Wow, guys, they're afraid that you're in a new connection. They're afraid that you have somebody else now that, the, yeah, that you, that's, yeah, they're, they're afraid that there's an external factor in the form of you, you making a new connection with somebody that they, they're afraid that you've gotten into a new connection, a connection where somebody has, is giving you equal effort, where it's you, you have genuine love and feelings for them. Like you did for them at some point and the feelings is mutual and you guys are going to actually have something together, but they're just still sitting over there. So yeah, we have the world on the back of the deck. So that we already had the world come out. So something is coming to completion. Somebody feels that like they have to hurry up and close out a cycle here. Feeling the pressure, losing patience requires immediate attention. Yeah, to close that somebody feels that like they need to hurry up and close out a cycle. Well, why were they not closing it out before? <laughs> why were they not closing it out before? Mm, Spirit is kind of saying that it had to happen this way. Why were they not closing it out before? Because for some reason, they were not in their heart space. Their heart was with you. The other situation, it made logical sense in their mind to stay in that situation. Like, there was no emotions there. It was something that, about it being maybe, like, um, practical or logical to stay in that situation. Like, something like that. Tell me more. Why were they staying in that situation? Yeah, it's somebody that they have a past with. So they felt more comfortable with that person. It's somebody that they probably know longer than you, okay? Or that they have some type of history with. 
Um, but it's like they're in this energy where like they really want to. What does it have to do with the past person? Yeah, ooh, I'm telling you, the grasp of greed, materialism, possessiveness, selfishness. So they say so they were in that situation, whether this it was the them or this karmic or whatever, but it says materialism, possessiveness, greediness, selfishness. Wow. So they were in that situation for selfish reasons. Yeah, they're in this like scarcity mindset. They thought first, they thought they that's like they 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 have a lack mindset. Well, if I leave this situation, I probably won't have enough money. I'm not gonna be able to they're codependent. They're codependent on that situation to bring them some type of like false sense of stability or something like that. But that whoever that karmic is is not that great of a person. They're not very loving or genuine because they're feeling like you're like a diamond in the rough. They've never encountered somebody that loved them so genuinely. And it, like they're just not even used to it. But it's like they're about ready to they're about to throw in the towel when it comes to that third party situation. But there it's because of a scarcity mindset that they have and them thinking that they're gonna have some type of material loss. Tell me why it's a celebration is here. Victory, social events, renewed enthusiasm, the moon. Something about you guys having some type of victory. You guys could be celebrating or you guys are in like this better energy. You're happy. You're being social or something like that. It's making this person feel very insecure. How about it's a celebration or they're trying to make, tell me more about it's a celebration. What's that mean for my collective spirit? What's it's a celebration mean for my collective? See, this person's trying to make it seem like they're happy in another situation or something like that. Like they're doing good. They're having a victory, but that's not the case. They're actually feeling very insecure. They're scared. Things are not as they seem. I feel like they're going to reveal to you or it's going to be revealed in the future what was really going on because they're really, they were trying to fix a situation. It says correcting or improving something, making the best out of a bad situation. So it's not good. Hold on. Yeah. Unhealthy choices. They, yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever that situation is, it's not good. They should, they, if they let another person in, they let somebody back in or they kept, they were surrounding themselves with somebody that was not, they need to be more careful who they had around them. Divine is just attracting helpful people. The divine has their hand in the situation because this person has taken forever in a lifetime here. What is divine hand? The, Yeah old-fashioned values the, an offer of love the divine is trying to push this person to make an offer of love okay setting an example the, the light of their life setting strong boundaries so you guys could be in this energy of like only like if they don't come towards you and give you something traditional or like in alignment with what you want you're not you're setting boundaries here and you're in this energy of setting boundaries and you're kind of like setting an example here. Yeah, they, they miss you, but I feel like this person, no, and they're daydreaming about you, but they're, I told you, they're studying you, getting to know each other, learning to love. They feel like they need to study you longer because you're just very different from what they're used to. It says beauty and the beast. They feel like they kind of put you on a pedestal. Feeling love life is cursed, major differences, desperately looking for true love. They found it in you, but it was so, it was, it's like maybe like reframing their whole idea of what love is because I don't know. Like, it's like, I, I feel like you did give them genuine true love, but let me just draw one Oracle card out of this third couple and see what else they have to say about you and this person. And then I'm going to take it over to the extended reading because this definitely needs more info. Well, guys, don't ever doubt that I'm <laughs> I'm an intuitive. I know I'm intuitive, but wow, I always still like surprise myself. But like, didn't I just say on a pedestal? Yeah. On a pedestal, you're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Mm-hmm. Betray I told you they did something, betrayed you. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better, better, but we have frequency. They are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. Just know this person knows that they did you dirty and it's haunting them. They are starting to heal and get in, into more alignment with you. 
but um and in an energy where they're going to be more op more open to like opening their heart to you but it says haunted their vivid vivid dreams haunt them you know what they're also haunted about how they did you dirty and you moving on with somebody else that's what they're worried about at this time but we have taking aim they have stepped into their power and taking action towards you they will not miss their mark this time yeah coming apart that's kind of like ripped apart meeting you was unexpected you changed their whole lot whole world forever feeling lost as they lose their old identity Mm-hmm. back and forth you guys definitely had like some type of like on and off like they're very they're very all over the place they're trying to make sense of this connection but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes could be dealing with some, yeah you could be dealing with somebody that has bipolar disorder Unfo unfounded fear they are afraid to trust and get hurt again the illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety unable to act upon their love but and that's why they've been keeping you in this back and forth wishy-washy on and off shit but you're like uh-uh game over they fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Yeah, they know you're done. And they're going through towers. Divine intervention. They're exper experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. And they feel very drawn to you. This was the, the twin flame reading about this person feeling like really, really drawn to you. Their desire for you is very strong. It says they have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. So it's like, I think I mentioned this too, that they're about to go into to the dark night. I think I said that, but they're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. And it's going to lead to a breakthrough. They are planning right now to come towards you and ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. Yeah, but this is the this person definitely was a player. But it says the player lifestyle is no longer looking enticing to them since they met you. Yeah, bring up. Be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. Yeah, gesture. Yeah, it's like all these cards are resonating. I'm telling you. You can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection, give them a chance to prove themselves. It says the unknown. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into the, their life, but they fear being wrong. That's what I was talking about earlier about them feeling like you it's a trick. They're them not trusting it. Right? They see you, they see who you, how you love them, they see how successful you are and all those things. They feel like you're too good to be true. And we have toxicity. Their toxic friendships, whoever they have around them are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Yeah, they're so used to toxicity, they couldn't even see at some point how genuine you were, right? But they're knowing that they have to do right by, they want to come in and do right by you, but they know that they have to, they, they, they feel like the right thing to do would be to come in and offer you something solid, all right? But you've set boundaries, like I said, with this person, and they actually, that's maybe, made, that's actually made them respect you more, okay? Yeah, they definitely had some 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 um, wounds from either like a family's like a marriage like situation with kids or it could be that uh, on top of childhood trauma, family trauma, something like that. OK, 